Good morning, a day fam. Welcome into today's video. It is like a summer's day. Wait. Oh my gosh. All right, we're waiting. Wait, you guys. So there's something I have to talk to you guys about. Something you guys need to know about. There's something you guys need to know about, but I'm gonna tell you guys when we get home because we have a lot to do, a lot to cover before then. I'm gonna, so stick around. I'm gonna tell you guys something crazy that happened to us, to me and Gabby mostly. And, but first we gotta bring our horses in because we're headed to the barn. Sophie brought us some treats from Painted Our Ponies. Painted Pony. Painted Pony treats. Come it's on. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I hear it. I know it. <laughs> come on. Did you hear her? Did you see her? She told give the others to, to come. You give it to Gabby. I'm trying to open mine. Oh, this looks yummy. I want to try it. Good Ooh, girl. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with our horses, but this year they want like off the grass when they're done. No, she knows we have a treat. Oh, okay, I'm trying it. This is it. Change of plans. We're eating all the treats. That's so good! Try mine. Mine is so good. Aren't they the same? No. Mine's better. Oh my gosh. Gabby, you wanna try it? Our horse treats? Gabby's like, no. no. Let's go. Did you unplug it? Yep, all right. Let's do it. Mine is so good. Well, now I get it. I get why the horses are coming. Come on, Pen! Come on! I got treats! I got painted pony treats just for my painted pony. I guess Sam put the horses out with the girls this morning, not me. And Gracie ran for like three minutes straight and he was concerned. So he tried calling me and I didn't, was upstairs so I didn't answer my phone. And then he called me again and once he calls me two times, I'm like, oh, there's something going down. So I answered the phone, I'm like, what's wrong? And he's like, Gracie's running around the field. Like it's been three minutes. I'm like, okay, and? And he's like, yeah, is that normal? Like, is she gonna be okay? I'm like, and then he says, wait, she's drinking. I think she's okay. And that reminded me like, we used to be like that all the time. And now we just know that it's normal for Gracie. She likes to get a run on. Penny, I don't like to walk in this tall grass because of snakes. Look, I brought you a painted ponies treat. What do you think of that? Oh, good girl. Good girl, yeah. What do you think of that? She's like, mm, it was okay, but I think I'll just stay here. Come on. That's a girl. I'm trying this one now. Yeah, the one I had was so good. Penny's like, I will take it. It said painted ponies. You are not a painted pony. <laughs> yeah, is it good? This one is not as good because it doesn't have the... Oh, this is the sugar-free one. Oh, that's a sugar-free mm -hmm. Still good. Willow heard the rapper and was like, I'm coming. Yeah, Willow heard it and was like, mm, you forgot the treats or those ones staying here. Those ones are staying here. All right, wait, I'm gonna check the temperature. It is scorching today. Even yesterday was so nice at the horse show. It says like 70 degrees. 70 degrees. Can I try the heart ones? No, let's leave the horse, let's. Let's leave the painted time, ponies horse pants. treats for the ponies. We are going to the barn now. I'll tell you why we have to go. We give our horses the day off after a horse show. So they're My having... horse is going to a horse show. Yeah, so I'm gonna explain everything. But before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys. Oh. Before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys that I ordered something so super special for Chance to help them in their riding. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait for it to come in, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about it. 
They're all good. This let's, one's good. Let's just admit, they're all good. So if you haven't been keeping up in the videos, this is a quick little refresher. <laughs> Recently, uh, we decided to lease an off-track thoroughbred, a young guy that just is new to our barn. And we've been working on weight gain with him. We had our vet look at him and he said that he wants him to gain weight slowly over time, let him do it himself, give him all the things that we need. We worked out a really good diet plan for him and a feed plan for him. And he is coming along slowly. Um, also, we had our massage therapist look at him. She said that we should get our chiropractor to come because he's a little bit tight in the back end. And so our chiropractor is coming this week. He's still rideable. He is still supposed to be ridden. We ride him lightly so that he can maintain the muscle he has and grow more muscle. But we've also been really slow and taking it easy with him. Chiropractor is coming this week and when she comes and does some adjustments, then we should be able to start riding him even more. I also recently ordered something that will really hopefully make a difference for him while he's gaining weight and while he's gaining muscle. But today we're here to lunge him and keep him moving and keep him working without the strain of being ridden until our chiropractor comes. And this is him. <laughs> he has a thing, he does hide. So Sophie is gonna lunge Chance and Gabby's taking it, you know, just for a walk and to grass him, like let him have a little bit of grass. How you treat big handsome man? Chino got a yummy treat by Painted, po painted Ponies. I swear he looks taller than Chino again. The first time, yeah, the first time he saw a pony, the, the Pony Newton. Yes, I've been treat, feeding everybody treats, Painted Ponies treats. Chino's like, I will have more. Did he? Did Chino be happy to see him? So Chino's gonna have grass and relax and walk around. And we still gotta figure out a bunch of things, like Chino can't be with a girl. I saw some people saying Chino's never been herd bound before, and actually he was. The only other time he was herd bound was when he was in this field ahead of me with the girls. And then he was awful, but it was when we first got him. So we didn't know that it was herd bound. We just thought he was like extra special. But now we know that Chino gets crazy for girls. And I know a lot of horses do. He acts like a stud when he is in a field with a girl. And uh, you know who else is doing the same thing? He's not acting herd bound. He has other behaviors that are unfavorable. Chance. Come on. I love how he hides behind doors. Wow. Imagine he jumped that gate. We always say that though. Like imagine he's like, hey, I want to go back with my friends and he jumped the gate. So today Sophie's going to actually lunge chance again. Keep him moving. Keep him limber. Keep him building muscle. Keep him moving forward. While we wait for our chiropractor to come. Right now she's free lunging him, but she is actually gonna lunge him as well. She's just letting him work out some of his energy. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Playing cool, play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. Doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my
this boulevard tonight Yeah Playing Coldplay on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by Now my wheel's in motion and my window's open With the wind blowing in my head There's a guy at this barn that is like an expert at lunging his horse and like it's a he it's a big part of what he does with his horse and he actually came in the in the barn and helped Sophie with her lunging and she did a lot better after he helped her. I behind him. Yeah, I know. I was saying that. Don't bite me. He's like smelling our feet. He's like, "What are those? Are those carrots? Don't bite my feet." Hello, this is the people only area chance. So Sophie uh, was able to lunge him and, and work on I like him more of him, but he's like really sweaty. Building muscle, yeah. Like she doesn't want to overdo it because like we said, he's trying to gain weight. All right, so we are home from the barn. It was super fun to go to the barn. Like I said, a guy, an older guy, he came and showed Sophie how to lunge and like really worked with her for a really long time to get Chance lunging. How'd you feel about that? Was it good or yeah. bad? Do you feel like better? Yeah. Yeah, she did a lot better with him. He actually worked out. He was sweaty. Was he sweaty? Yeah. Yeah, but she didn't do too much. She wants to keep him. Um... And it was hot out today. Yeah, it was hot out today. So now I want to show you guys what happened to Gabby. Tell you guys about what happened to Gabby. So Gabby doesn't really have the same experience with this as I did, but I'm going to tell you and then we'll ask Gabby how she feels about it. I've shared with you guys before about how I don't really like coffee. It always like it makes me hyper and then I could crash midday and I just I don't like drinking it But then I'm also addicted to it and it's really hard to get off of it. So recently the dogs are drinking That's why there's that sound <laughs> Ruby, I'm trying to vlog here <laughs> The other day I was just scrolling online and I saw this ad and it was for a coffee substitute It's like something that you drink instead of coffee that mimics coffee it has like a seventh of the caffeine and it's made with mushrooms and I was like oh I was reading up on it and I thought wow that sounds really cool so I bought it <laughs> and the coffee that it, it was called mud water but we didn't I looked on Amazon I didn't see it in Canada so I ended up getting this one which is it had exactly the same ingredients the exact everything it's made with it's mushroom ground coffee made with chaga and lion's mane but then it says Anyways, so that's what it is. I'm a bit like confused about how it's made with mushrooms. It claims that it will make you lose weight because people who, who, because those two ingredients make you not hungry. And it also claims that it gives you like the energy and the cl mental clarity that coffee does, but without the crash and without the shakes and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, what happened when we tried it this morning, Gabby and I? So I drank it thinking like, okay, is this actually going to work? Is it one of those things that, you know, they say it's going to be like this and then it's not, but I drank it and I didn't get that kick. You know, when you drink your coffee and then all of a sudden, boom, that kick, I didn't get that. But I got the energy and I got the mental clarity. I had to do some work online today, like a big, I had to film this big form and stuff. That's not usually my strong suit. I don't have the patience to just sit there and do it. And I did it like it took me a long time and I was so calm, but I could, was so focused and my energy levels though, maybe you can tell, I don't know all day. I only had one cup of that stuff and I have been through the roof excited and energetic and getting stuff done. Can I tell them a hack? Yeah, Sophie wants to tell you a hack. This is how you don't scratch your mosquito bites. You put a band-aid on it. Oh, is that what you did? Yeah. No, I think as you get older, your body gets more immune to them. Gabby thinks you get more immune as your body gets older, and that is a possibility because I mosquitoes hardly bite me, and when they do, it doesn't bother me at all. When they bite me, I scratch it for days, and it turns into a rash. I did do that when I was young. Because I did. Um, I have a rash now because it was a mosquito bite, and I kept scratching and scratching it. Yeah. So I have a mosquito bite with a band-aid on it. Yeah, so she's got a band-aid on her mosquito bite. So that's her hack. That's her hack, and that's what I wanted to tell you about our experience. Gabby, how did you feel about the mushroom coffee? It didn't work. She says it didn't work for her. Like, at all. Like... The only thing it gave me was MCT. 
It only gave her OCD. If you are looking for an alternative to coffee, I just wanted to let you guys know that that is something that is an alternative. And actually, you could even research it and see other alternatives to coffee because I'm sure there's other things. I, I'm not so sure about the whole mushroom connection because I, I don't know, like, I don't know if that's kind of sketchy or not, but it is an alternative to coffee. And in the States, it's called mud coffee. And I forget what it's called here, but it worked so good, so much better than coffee. It says that... It doesn't prevent you from sleeping at night. And they said, like, it had so many more benefits that were different from coffee. But anyways, mud coffee, check into it, look into it. If you're trying to get off coffee and find an alternative. But anyways, Macy's here too. Anyway, there's one more thing I want to show you guys before we end today's video. All right, so you guys know we're getting ready to compile a course in our backyard. And Sam found another tire. And it's actually, they made it, so it's like a big, huge Mommy, tractor what? tire. I don't wanna, I don't know, like, do you think the horses could stand on that? Let me get on there. So, it's a trampoline, but it's not very good, is it? Oh, I wanna stand on it. Step on my, whoa, don't that's, step on my toes. That's not good. Yeah, it's not, it's not very bouncy. Whoa, in fact, it kind of makes you want to fall. So we might take this trampoline thing off the tire because it's Don't like a big tire underneath there. And now we have two. Or, like, we I don't think. A bigger one than this. Like, could a, a horse step on this? I don't know. Bye. Go on up. Go on up. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to be able to use it for something. And you're probably wondering, like, when the heck are you going to build that thing, Laura? And it's true, we're taking forever. But it's because Sam keeps buying things to drag the arena. Our arena needs to be dragged. It's growing grass in it, and he keeps on buying things to drag it. But for some reason, none of them work. Where's the new thing you bought yesterday? He bought a new thing to drag it yesterday, and he dragged it, and it broke. So... He's like, that's not the right thing. Also bought some new raspberry yeah, I plants. Water these yesterday. Yeah, we're excited about these more. So we might grow raspberry bushes in our garden instead of a, like a full garden this year. Because we do not have time. We are so busy. But anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys back at it tomorrow and we'll show you our baby chicks because they've gotten so big and so cute. Don't you know that you're beautiful?